Oh, good morning. We're going to open some packages to say thank you for uh, everybody. And I'm missing Rachel and Rebecca and the Kane family. They're in Kansas right now, so I don't have my uh, assistance. But uh, we'll, we'll do with what we have. So uh, we have some Bibles here. And we have uh, a hymnal here, some songs. Uh, and yes, we, we can use uh, some songs in this hymnal. That will be useful. Uh, we have some crosses, which uh, the cross is a symbol of Rome. The early church did not have crosses in their worship service, and they didn't wear the crosses around their necks. And uh, so crosses are not something that are going to be in Henson Creek House of Prayer, but I appreciate people in their thought. Um, so, right now, American flag. May the Republic uh, live long. May we enjoy the liberty that we enjoy. Uh, as long as we can. And we have some uh, Bible tracts from Christian Light. I grew up homeschooling with Christian Light uh, with some of their homeschool curriculum. So yes, uh, Bible tracts. Very useful. Thank you. Born again. What does it mean? Headed in the wrong way. Have you heard the good news? All right, so these will definitely be uh, useful um, preaching on the street. Thank you. Todd Greaser. Thank you, Brother Todd. Okay, some batteries. All right, I've got a big flashlight. This will definitely fit those that flashlight. Enjoy your gift from Mrs. Regina Davidson. Thank you, Regina. Very useful for me and the volunteers. Oh! We've got some uh, special treats for the dogs. Uh, hey, Joe. Joe is a is one of the volunteers' dogs. We've got a uh, a brother here. Hey, Spartacus! Spartacus, come on! Come on, come on, Spartacus. There you go. All right. If Spartacus could speak English, he would say thank you. Uh, let's see. Enjoy your gift from Whisk and Chira. From two loved puppers to an to two other loved puppers. And then these are crackers. Uh, all right. Yes. They're like a stainless steel cups, kind of like a mug. Alan was wanting mugs, so yeah, that would be good for tea also. Oh, yes, it is. Yep, first aid kit. 
A little medical kit for you and the people around you when necessary. Good luck with the church construction. God bless you all. From Zoel, the Netherlands. From Simon Peter Coopers. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yep. Keep it contained. Oh, okay. This is like a fire extinguisher. Hello, Titus. Happy birthday. One, I, my birthday's in December. So, I guess it comes a little early. Uh, one for your home, one for work site, one for Stephanie. From in Jesus' name with joy. So, whoever sent this, uh, you chose to be, remain anonymous, and so God knows your name. Thank you. Fire extinguishers. Oh. Okay. So we got a tool belt here. Um, There's going to be volunteers that ain't got a tool belt that this will come in handy. Yes. Yes. Do you have a tool belt, Victor? I don't. All right. Well. This can, uh, when you show up, this will be uh, ready. <laughs> we won't be uh, using the tool belts on Sabbath, but uh, we can definitely uh, accept. Uh, yeah, that's a beautiful tool belt. Yeah. Yep, every man needs a tool belt. So, Victor, you're 14. Happy birthday, whenever your birthday is. It's November the 7th. November, okay. So it, it's coming up pretty soon. Happy um, early, birthday. early birthday, Victor. Yeah. Take good care of it. Uh, don't leave it outside in the rain. Uh, you might need to oil it at some point. Keep the leather from sound. And then if you ever feel like you don't need it, give it back here. I'm sure you'll be helping build on the church house. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. This is a contractor's first aid kit. Uh, and then this was, um, okay, this is STEM kits. It's for the children. Kind of like science type. Yeah, okay. And wind chimes. And oh, my favorite horse coloring book. I would like Rachel and Rebecca to, to um, color this for me and then let me have this picture. Has a bow around it. Watch it, it might be a big old snake. No. So if it is a snake, uh, my Bible tells me in Luke chapter 10 and verse 19, Jesus says to me and all the believers, Behold, I give you unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
So let's see. We don't have to fear the unknown when we have Jesus. A shelf for all your Bibles. God bless you, Titus. May God bless your church. Jesus shines through you, Titus. It's a blessing to watch you on YouTube from Catherine Tischler. Thank you, Catherine. Yes. Uh, A ladder shelf. Ooh, it's a it's wooden. That's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. That's what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I like that. That'll, that'll definitely be useful. And I guess if you're in a rainstorm or something, you might be able to, you know, cover up a little bit. Hmm. Okay, uh, megaphone. Probably doesn't have batteries in it, but I don't know. Uh, it says recovers requires four C batteries. Uh, okay. Batteries not included. Uh, are the C batteries the big ones? Yes, I believe so. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan sometimes has to walk a long ways to go and tell everybody, hey, it's time to eat. So he, he could get on the megaphone and say, come on and eat. Zombie. Yep. <laughs> so, so you press a button and then you record what it says and then you play it. <clears throat> so Alan, you, instead of walking out far out, you can say, come on and eat while it's hot. So, Alan, you, instead of walking out far out, you can say, Come on and eat while it's hot. Yeah. So, Alan, you, instead of walking out far out, you can say, Come on and eat while it's hot. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Would you rather have this, Alan, or a dinner bell? That. Okay. The Davidson family is ones that gave the batteries and these megaphone. It says, please include us in your prayers, Titus. The Davidson family from Mrs. Regina Davidson. So let's pause a minute and we'll pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a beautiful Sabbath morning. Um, thank you for that or outpouring of provision that you have given um, towards the ministry in the Henson Creek House of Prayer. And Father, I, we're lifting up the Davidson family. Um, you know their needs. I don't know, I don't know the details. I don't know what they're going through right now, but you do. So I ask that you would be with the Davidson family and give them the wisdom and direction, uh, the healing, the hope that they need. Pray that you would bless them, Father. Thank you. Uh, bless all those who have given generously and bless the ones that have not. Um, we, we are nothing without you, and we all need your blessing. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. We've got Bibles here. King James Version. Yes. Oh, okay, so it's 40, uh, or 40, 40, that's 80. And then there are 20 in this one. Uh, this comes from Harold Warman from Ohio. 
Thank you, Brother Harold. All right, we got Ariana here to help. She's going to help me open boxes. Uh, go ahead and open that one up. Okay, good job. You can do that on that one. Okay. Oh, we've got um, some, a solar lantern. Yep, the, we can definitely use that. Thank you, Victor. Uh, hey, open it up and put it out in the sun. It says, hi, Titus. I thought this environmentally friendly lamp you can hand crank would be helpful. God bless from John Grundler. Thank you, John. We can definitely use that lamp. All right. Got some dog food. Thank you, Victor. Uh, oh, yeah. Spartacus. Are you hungry? If Spartacus uh, could speak English, she would say, thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, here are some King James Version Bibles. And uh, this is one for children. And it has a good quality binding. So... Yes, when children come to Henson Creek House of Prayer, they will be provided with Bibles. And it says, King James Version Bibles for the children. Please share. May God bless you all for your love and kindness to others in spreading God's Word. From Nancy Dobbins. Thank you, Nancy. Oh, wow. Uh, another solar light. It's a, it says a solar. Oh yeah, it's got a solar panel there. Here's the panel. Yeah. Then you set it out on your roof or what, or and then yep. this wire can go in. Nice. And hook up. Beautiful. This is a solar powered fan. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, this says another gift sent with love from Scotland. From peace and love, Nicole. So somebody from Scotland sent us this solar powered fan. So. That's great. Uh, I love Scotland. I've always wanted to go. Scotland's a beautiful land. What is this now? It's a solar powered fan. Oh. Wow. So, thank you, Nicole, from Scotland. Mm, there's a hand warmer also. Oh wow. Uh, these are solar wall lights. We hope these help when working late on the church site or for your camping volunteers at night. God bless you and all your neighbors 
You all renew our faith in Yahweh every day. From Betty and Nick Raider in Nevada. Thank you, Betty and Nick. Yes, the volunteers and myself can definitely use these lights. Bibles. Uh, these are New King James. I don't mind having one or two around for reference, but um, New King James Version just isn't something we're really going to be doing at Henson Creek House of Prayer. Um, but thank you for the kind heart to give. Oh! Peanuts! Peanuts! Hey! <laughs> More of these! Woo! These are the healthy ones. Uh, Titus, enjoy these snacks and please give one box of fig bars to the kids. Make sure Ariana gets one of those for, for Ariana and, and Mason and Jaden. And, uh, you can make your own peanut butter or just eat the peanuts. Bless you from Paula Bicoy. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Yes, the volunteers here are being well provided for. Okay, more uh, mason jars. All right, six, six mason jars. Hi Titus, I sent you six wide mouth jars. 32 ounces to be exact. May God continue to bless you all. Love you and brethren there and friends and visitors from in Jesus name with joy. So this is an anonymous, anonymous one. Uh, God knows who you are. God bless you. Thank you for giving. Oh! Yes. We can definitely use this when we're canning applesauce and tomatoes. Uh, also like when volunteers are washing their hands. Uh, Yes, this is definitely, definitely we need this. Uh, this one is anonymous. Thank you. And if you're caught out in a rainstorm, uh, it'll also keep your head dry. It's always so exciting because like, you just don't know what's in the package until you open it. Oh, this is a rain gauge. Okay, so it it will record how many inches fell in the month, how many year to date of inches, and okay, yeah, I can I can use a rain gauge. My rain gauge has been just a bucket and look and see. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's that much water. Yeah, this will be helpful. Uh, it says, Titus, no farm should be without this from Charles D. Gossett, Jr. Thank you, Mr. Gossett. Uh, useful gift, definitely. Victor is popping bubble wrap. <laughs> Nobody's shooting a gun around here right now. Oh, this is a popcorn popper. Oh, wow. Hold on, I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we got a corn uh, corn popper here, and uh, now we got some popcorn out in the garden. Uh,
And uh, so I, I've got popcorn, but uh, or I, I had popcorn in the garden, but I didn't have a popper. Now I've got a popper. Titus, maybe you can pop up a nice prayer for your workers and family from Karen Green Lee. Thank you, Karen. Uh, this popper will be used on homegrown corn. So we have a tent here. Uh, it says, hello, Titus. This is called a camel crown camping tent. Uh, two, four, six person, waterproof, quick, easy setup, folding out door. Never tried one, but looks super good on commercial for using during work from in Jesus name with joy. So whoever you are who sent this, God bless you. Thank you. And there'll be a volunteer that will need this tent. So thank you so much. Oh, uh, these are stainless steel plates, uh, kind of like a cross between a bowl and a plate. And so uh, this is like typical of something you'll see in an Amish home because it's kind of like dual purpose, a bowl or a plate. And Stephanie had said that she was wanting to get these for, you know, the uh, volunteers and for the church and everything. So uh, this is beautiful. Uh, this, I had been wanting these for a long time uh, and finally they're here. God is good. Uh, it says, enjoy your gift from Linda. Thank you, Linda. These will be used here. The volunteers, people, uh, people at, in the church, definitely. Oh, uh, more of these beautiful plates. Uh, it says, and also uh, a couple baking sheets. And it says, keep up the good work from Chris M. in Tennessee. Thank you, Chris. We will be baking potatoes and sweet potatoes, and we will definitely use that for our volunteers and in the, in the Henson Creek House of Prayer. And look at that. Work gloves. Nice. 40 pairs. Wow. Uh, from Kathy. Kathy in Ontario, California. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, the volunteers will be well supplied in gloves. Four stainless steel bowls. Enjoy your gift from Chris M. in Tennessee. Thank you, Chris. All right. Uh, these are solar lights here. Bigger lights to go with the smaller ones. We hope these help. God bless you, all your helpers and neighbors. We wish you the very best. From Betty and Nick Rader in Nevada. Thank you, Betty and Rick. Uh, these will be very useful. It looks like they're waterproof, so they're out in the rain is okay. And uh, we can put them outside, charge them up, and bring them back inside. Looks like the real deal. For years, uh, I had one or two headlights, and that was the only thing that I had here, and maybe one handheld flashlight. And now, since the volunteers are coming, and since we're we're doing um, some church services or you know worship time in the house, all of a sudden, all these solar lights have showed up just when we needed them. Uh, so. 
Yeah, and there was one solar light that came and it was like it was like a security light and so we hung it up and like it'll it'll be bright but then it'll kind of dim down and so you have to go like that to get it to light up. So um, it looks like these are going to be more consistent lighting which will be better. Uh, and uh, okay. Uh, wow. More Bibles. Wow. Yes, we will need them. Yes. Yes. May we treasure the Word of God more than we do. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I think we've got enough Bibles for now. A lot of people have been generously giving Bibles. So I'll just put the Word out for now. Um, why don't we just put a hold on sending Bibles uh, and then we'll see how many we use, how many we need, and then if, if the need arises for more, uh, we'll let you know. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak. I am worn through the storm, through the night. Lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord. Lead me home when my way grows dear. Precious Lord, linger near when my life is almost gone. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, Lead me home when the darkness appears and the night draws near and the day is past and gone. At the river I stand Guide my feet, hold my hand, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When we reach out our hand, and by faith we're holding on to the hand of Jesus, we're safe. Now we may choose to let go of His hand, but He does not choose to let go of our hand. And if we wander away, if we are lost, it's not Jesus' fault. It's not the Good Shepherd's fault. It's our own choice to let go of that hand. And maybe today you have let go of the hand of Jesus and you're all by yourself and you're in a dark place. Why don't you reach out your hand by faith and say, Jesus, help me. Lord, save me. Reach out your hand by faith. Take off your hat when you pray. Give God some respect and say, Jesus, help me. I've let go of your hand. Forgive me. I'm in a dark place. Save me. And He'll do it. Jesus said, Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Maybe you think you've sinned too long and sinned too strong and you feel like you can't come back and God can't forgive you. That's a lie from Satan. Satan wants you to believe that you've gone too far. There's hope. Reach out by faith. Take the hand of Jesus by faith. Walk with Him by faith. And that's a decision you will never regret. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. 
See on the porch rolls, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O sinner, come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and heed not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinner, come home. For the wonderful love he has promised, promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon, pardon for you and for me. Come home. Come Come home, you who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O sinner, come home. Yes, yes. I mean, we can do both. Thank you, Ariana, for helping me open the packages. You're a good help. Uh, the Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and running over. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, running, and running over shall men give into your bosom. So, God is blessing so much through your generosity. And I just wanted to express again, thank you. Uh, the volunteers here are going to be well, well provided for. Uh, and this ministry is being well provided for. And uh, I'd like to just pray and thank each of you. Father in heaven, just wanted to, uh, to thank you for the blessing that has been poured out. I ask that you would bless the people that are blessing this ministry and bless those who are not giving as well. Uh, we're so grateful that because you bless us, we can bless others. Work in our hearts, Father that we will continue growing into the people that you want us to be. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.